Tech Garage, presented by Advanced Auto Parts, is being brought to you by MagnaFlow. We've got the power and sound you're looking for. Original Parts Group, the world's largest source for GMA body parts and accessories. Steel Rubber Products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. And by Advanced Auto Parts. Let's get you back on the road. Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by Advanced Auto Parts. This week's performance playbooks all about suspension. Let's see, I have a major problem. I'm looking up and down this A-Fuel dragster and I don't even see any. Matter of fact, I don't see any ball joints. I don't see any struts. I don't see any shocks. Josh, where's your suspension? John, this car doesn't have a suspension. Well then, how does it flex? I've seen it flex. It's all about 4130 chromoly, which is what the chassis is built out of. And the chassis flexes, there's two aspects to that. When you launch or you take off from the start line, you got some flex there. Tell me about that. The car will actually transfer the weight by flexing the chromoly on takeoff. And your wheels are staggered. I mean, it's actually, that's how much twist you're getting in it? That's correct. Now also, when you come to the stop at the other end, I always see them bouncing. What's that all about? If you try to stop too fast, that's the only way that the chassis actually can absorb what's going on. So that's your suspension built into the actual frame of the car itself. That's pretty cool. Now our Honda's rolling real smooth with our new Monroe struts. But I want to look at a performance angle. So Drew's tackling it over in the shop looking at some performance suspension components. This is our 66 Corvette. Pretty much came in and utilized all the factory components in the car. There's a lot of hidden stuff you don't see like the bushing, the internal bushings, upper and lower ball joints, um, your spring isolators, uh, your half shafts, your shock bushings, your sway bar bushings. Advanced Auto Parts hooked us up with everything we needed. We got the upper and lower ball joints, your sway bar kit, and upgraded that to polyurethane bushings. We went with a new shock, new spring, upgraded thicker sway bar, uh, like I said, polyurethane links. We don't want it to drive like 1966. We want it to be a little bit stiffer, and that's what we're giving them. That's the performance playbook here at Bernie's. Time to head back. Brian has the email question of the week. John Jose from Kentucky emailed us this week. He's got a 2014 Kia Rio that's pulling pretty hard as he drives down the road. And he wants to know if we think an alignment will fix his problem. Well, it might, but first thing you want to do is make sure that your brakes and your suspension's in good shape, Jose. Pre-alignment inspection's in order first. Then you can go down the road with two fingers on there. If it's pulling out of your hand, it might be an alignment problem. First thing I would do, cross the tire. See if it goes away, it may be a tire issue. If not, we talked about alignment earlier. You remember that camber and caster? Well, we said that this out like this was positive camber and that was negative. So on your car, Jose, if you have one over here that's negative and you have one over here that's positive, you can almost see this car is wanting to go to the right if we're going in this direction. That's going to pull really, really bad. Now also, caster is a pull too, but it's not a tire wearing angle. You may have one wheel more forward than the other. It's going to pull to the most negative caster. But you know, a good look that he can do would be tire wear patterns. And check out this graphic. You can see the first one on there. That's feathering wear from toe in and toe out. And on the right, Check your tire for that, Jose. That's actually camber wear patterns. The other two, underinflation on the left, overinflation on the right, Brian. And that cupping can be a worn strut. So if you end up replacing the struts like we did on our Accord, keep in mind that had a very specific engineered fit going back in. But if you've got a more traditional strut assembly, don't forget, caster is affected up at the top of the strut assembly, camber down here at the bottom. So you may want to make some marks on your setup before you disassemble it and put in your new struts. And our new struts, speaking of that, that Accord is riding smooth. We just need to get it at alignment shop so it don't end up like Jose's car. RSX on the other hand, ooh, oh. performance is there. Awesome, I love the Accord as well, getting that ride height back like we had from the factory back in the day. Don't forget, if you need us during the week, check us out on YouTube or Twitter, and we look forward to helping you with your next project. And we'll see you next week on Tech Garage, where we're gonna get you back on the road. Production assistance for Tech Garage is provided by Chipola College, located in Mariana, Florida. Founded in 1947, Chipola was recently ranked as one of the top three community colleges in the United States.